What's up, players? Jota here, here with Q. And guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna fill our stomachs with some crazy KFC goodness. But before you do that, you know the drill. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. I turn down crap like that. But this one is so over the top that I need to know what a donut chicken sandwich tastes like. Do you remember the double down here? Like, I feel like it's- I skipped it. Oh, yeah. I was scared. I was scared of the double down. KFC, bring it back. Now that I know about protein, bring it back. This right here, is disgusting. You can just no, you gotta hold your tongue out. Just catch it. Oh my god! <laughs> what the heck? Mm. It's better than it should be. For one bite in, I already know I can't finish it. <laughs> oh, you will. This is so big. Goose finally came by. He is not dead. Very happy to see this. He's still practicing bass and the rehearsals may uh, finally start taking shape. There's just something about like experiencing music in a live context where you can really like feel the rhythms, the vibrations in your chest and just really be part of it. It's different than wearing headphones. It's different than playing with small amplifiers and acoustics with each other, at least for, at least when you're trying to learn that feeling. Also, it gives me an excuse to play on a real kit more often so I will welcome that every time. Quick shout out to the Liquid Death Boys. I got my bag. I got my bag. I got my thing. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Liquid Death, Mountain Water. Murder your thirst. Let's go. Guys, if you're watching this video, good morning, good afternoon, good whatever. I need you first to like this video. I need you first to add a fucking comment. I need comments, I need engagement. The algorithm hates me. Subscribe to Demigod Collective's channel. Click the bell icon, do all that stuff that you're supposed to do when you have a YouTube video. That way, we can have better lives. And with better lives, you know what that means? Everything's better for all of us. Walk right into the phone. I promise you, puppers in the grass. Damn, look at that pupper in the grass. Oh, play dog. And off they go. Feel my people. Oh, doggos. Double doggo. It's your boy Demigod Q here with your weekly update of the vlog. Or I guess the group, not really the vlog. So we are right in the middle of demos. JP has written a part he cannot play. So he is working on his fingerstyle technique for one playful jab aside. And that's actually my favorite song so far because I guess it's the most fleshed out and it's the first song that, at least in performance as well as writing, that I think JP will be taking a real center stage on and I'm excited for that. Play. 
Style grits, bay leaf, and not instant grits. I'm gonna give that a quick stir. Put our cap, cap on. We gotta set our watch for 15. Let's go. <laughs> Now, if you're anything like many folk who grew up around rice, you're probably told to never touch the pot because it would just absolutely ruin it and your whole family would be sad. This is absolutely not the case with grits. You need to stir it or it will become a sad, sticky mess. It already looks like I waited too long. Grits, little ones, all sad to Making the most out of the meat. All right, so I'm making this video specifically to allay some fears that Q has, which were expressed in the last vlog about us not working out anymore. And we're not working out anymore. So in that prior vlog, he, he makes it seem like, you know, fitness just doesn't seem to be a goal anymore. But that is not the case. That's not the case. I did make a, 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 a little a little investment over here in myself, in my wealth, in my bod. Got myself this right here. Boom. Kettlebell boys. This one's a 17. And I got myself, ooh, yeah. A nice 26 pounder. I will be making a purchase of another 26 and probably another 17 uh, quite soon just so that I could have dual sets, make the sets a little quicker to do. Um, and be able to do you know things like presses and flies and all those things at the same time instead of having to do one by one, which kind of sucks, but whatever, getting the gains in anyway. Uh, so yes it is a recent purchase it's not like he's he's been able to see my watch history so he knows that it's not something that i've been doing the last couple weeks but i just picked those up this week and i've started using them so q don't lose hope baby don't lose hope we're gonna get fit we're gonna get swole i know you miss going to the gym i do too man but we still getting swole baby here's some random shots of doggos oh. Millie! Yee, <laughs> girl, do your thing. Don't be camera shy. It was brought to my attention that there's some sad, weak subset of the population that thinks cilantro tastes like soap. I weep for you. Because it is very important in this recipe. Um, we're going to add the cilantro closer to the end, save a little to put on top. General, it's timing, so. Wanna make sure you get your egg set up. We're topping this with an egg because it's all I can afford. It will also provide a lovely foil. Some of the other layers, especially if I get this yellow right. So let's see if I can do it. Mm. Terrible. That was an undeniable casualty in this vlog. Mm. Not too bad. Parsley. Mm. More parsley. Mm. 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 What's up, guys? Joda here. Windy daylight savings time day one, I think. Is it day one of daylight savings time? Whatever it is. Week recap. This week's been a lot better than last week. Um, I feel there's been less or more resolve of chaos that's been going on and things we've been doing. What the fuck is that music? But more resolve, better things. I'm feeling the guys are beginning to understand that we can achieve our goal and it's just a matter of bucking the fuck up and not giving more excuses. So it's been easier to communicate these things now where before some of these... Ah! Before some of these things were a lot difficult to get across maybe with some of the guys and even me, right? I'm trying to lead the men to do this. So in leading them, I got to make sure that I don't forget that we're all human and we all make mistakes and we're all not aware of stuff. 
and like people aren't trying to do malicious things or being bad people or whatnot so it's eased me up it's made my life a little easier it's made me chill a little bit more it's still fucking intense it made me chill a little more so hopefully for the next week and time on there's more seriousness and more um weight to the things we have to achieve to get demigod collective to be the best shit ever man my hair looking good like shoot probably do something else with it <sighs> what's up vlog so in this journey of making music in such a you know electronic age where like most of the things that you make music on whether it be you know plugins you can make everything on your computer make any sound that you desire all those things right so I feel like a lot of love has been lost uh, towards, you know, regular analog things or just equipment in general because people don't see the value in it. And to be honest, now that we've been ramping up for this live show, we started investing in gear, investing in things that we're going to know, the things that we know we're going to need for the show. But one piece of equipment that I want to shout out, bro, in-ears like actual professional in-ears that artists wear on stage so that you know they can hear their mix and all those things life changing life changing i'm talking about i don't think and jp will will concur with me on this i don't think I've heard music before now. Like, there's just so many things that I'm catching because these things are of such quality that it's making me appreciate music that I've been listening to for years, years, and making me look at it in a whole new light. Like, it's really worth it to get yourself quality things sometimes because it makes the world of difference. This thing, these things have just been wild. I've been appreciating music in a whole new light and if you're a musician out there and you're thinking like oh like should i get that piece of gear should i get sometimes it's it makes a world of difference and i know when it comes to the audio space a lot of things are expensive or whatever the case may be but sometimes you need to make investments especially if you're going to take this thing seriously and this is one of those times where the investment just paid off and it just keeps paying off and paying off because it's going to do so much for our live show but also just like on the back end of like researching and listening to things and appreciating music this has been a game changer so if there's any musicians out there if you're wondering should i get that new guitar should i get that whatever like sometimes you got to spring for it man because it's gonna bring a whole new level of appreciation and it'll bring more to your show and just how you express yourself. It's totally worth it. Add some cracked pepper on that. But you're tapping it on. Cause I cracked it in advance. I only have two hands. I'm gonna get one shot to do this right. Boom, egg on. Tapatio, official sauce in Mexico. Last but not least, a little bit of cilantro you were saving to make it look like real food. Boom, food. If this was tasty, break the yolk so you can see it pour over the grits. And be like, wow. But this is for me and I'm gonna break it right before I eat it cause that's when it's most delicious. Sorry. Bye.